Hey everybody, so I got the new Paris Roan 12-in-1 cooker, and this will do a lot of different things. Now, I have used a few of their products in the past. I've purchased a couple different ones, and they sent this one over for me to actually try. Uh, this company has been around for over 100 years. They're based out of France. Of course, their products are not produced there. They're produced in China, just like everybody else. But France is where they got their start and where they're still headquartered. All right, so if I was to compare this, this would be very similar to like my Ninja Foodi, except that this has a lot more functions compared to like my Ninja Foodi 5-in-1. This will also do a lot of different things. You can grill, you can griddle, you can bake, you can stew, you can dehydrate. It's a lot of different stuff. All right, so let's start off by looking at the inside. You'll see that there is a removable grate up here. So you can take this off to clean it. Now, what I do like about this one is that it's not a mesh like a lot of them. Uh, the mesh ones like that go above your stove and everything, they're a lot harder to clean. So this is gonna be a lot easier. Also, you'll see that there is a burner element up here. So you're gonna get the heat from the top. Also, this does produce heat from the bottom as well. So included, you are gonna get your fryer baskets. So you can do your air fry foods. Then you're gonna get this one. This is gonna be like multiple uses in one. So you got your griddle side and then you got your grill side. Now I would like full sizes of these, but it would also increase the cost of these machines as well if they included all of that. Uh, but this will be your half and half that you could do different things on. And then you got your heating element here at the bottom, which has a little button in the center. So when the weight is not on it, it will shut off. It also does come with a lid that you could put right on top of this one. So you could do your stews, or maybe you just need to keep some heat trapped in there, more like an oven. Uh, you could bake, you could braise, you could do pretty much everything that will fit in this. Then of course you got your hinged lid and then we'll take a look at the front. Now the front is gonna give you a lot of different modes here. So you're gonna have dehydrate, you're gonna also see grill, dehydrate, bake, broil, roast, air fryer, slow cook, griddle, stew, steam, and keep warm. You also do have your power button here, of course. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Uh, you do have a preheat. You also got your temperature. Now the temperature will go up to 450, I believe, when it comes to the grill. So if we head over to the grill, I like that that knob is really nice and easy. Uh, you can just hit that temp and then you can raise the temp. Yes, yeah, so you can go up to 450 and as low as 300 on the grill part. And then it, you can also go to air fryer. So with the air fryer, you could go as high as 450 as well and as low as 120. I don't know who would try to fry at 120, but now when you select one of these options, it's going to automatically do a default time. So like the air fryer did 18 minutes. You got roast, you get 25, broil 10. Uh, that way it doesn't just stay on on you if you forgot about it. Like your bake, you got 15. Dehydrate is an automatic six hours and then you could go up to 24 hours when it comes to that. And then you also got your slow cook. And like I said, you could also hit your, your manual and then you can increase it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set up the grill because that's what I want to test out. And then we're gonna hit the start button it's gonna have a fan to kick on and it's gonna start heating up. We wanna get this nice and hot. I'm gonna do the testing of the grill portion just to see how well it grills and if it is smokeless. It also does come with a cleaning brush to help clean it as well. All right, so once it gets to the temperature, it's gonna say add food. At this point, we could go ahead and add our food and if you wanna lower the temperature, you can. When it comes to grilling though, I like really high heat. When you do open the lid, it is going to stop the element. It's gonna stop the cooking process. We'll go ahead and put this on. So we do get a nice sizzle. Let's go ahead and try. All right, so after a minute, we'll take a look. So, I mean, it actually does some pretty decent grill marks. All right, after a couple more minutes, go ahead and take a look. Now, the grill marks are definitely not as good as when you like do it on an actual grill, but it's actually not too bad. All right, so after a few minutes, we got a steak. It doesn't take very long at all uh, with the, this lid closed. It's almost like an oven at the same time. So definitely keep that in mind. And uh, you'll have to adjust your temperature based on how you like yours. You can listen to that sizzle though. It actually gets really nice and hot. And we actually got some decent grill marks. Not too bad for an indoor grill. And uh, let me go ahead and take this off. What I really like is that nothing is sticking. You can easily wipe this out, spray it out. Uh, definitely don't put this down in your drain though, because that is grease. Now overall, I actually really like it and I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna use it. I'm going to replace my Ninja Foodi, which is a five in one, because this does actually do a little bit more. And I just like the design of the trays and everything is just a little bit better. And I could fit more things in this compared to the Ninja Foodi. Even though the Ninja Foodi is about the same size, the, the shape of it is different inside. But if you are looking for a pretty good all-in-one cooker, the Paris Road does work pretty well.